This distribution is great for those of you who have a need for speed or you just want to breathe some new life into that archaic equipment you have up in the attic collecting dust. Had a lot of requests for this one. This distribution is based on Ubuntu 1304. We are looking at the LXDE version of Watt OS Revision 7.5 right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Here it is. This is the LXDE edition of WattOS. I also had a chance to look at MicroWatt. Didn't seem to be quite as user-friendly as this version is. MicroWatt uses 74 megs of RAM. This one uses about 95. So great for those of you who have an old computer that only has 128 megs of RAM installed. This should run pretty good on it. But then again, for those of you who have a quad-core computer with loads of RAM and you just have a need for speed, this could also be to your liking. Another nice thing about this distribution is that it is lightweight enough that you can build on top of it and make it anything that you want. Let's have a look and see what you get with this. If you look at the lower right corner of the screen, just beneath me here, you'll see there is a power button, which will allow you to log out, restart, suspend, hibernate, all that fun stuff. You get a clock. When you click on it, it opens up a calendar, a volume control, your power settings, and of course, your network manager. And then of course, if you look to uh, the left on the bottom of the screen, you'll see that there is a desktop switch. You're clicking these will show this little funny thing here, showing you which desktop you're on. You can collapse all windows and show your desktop. You also get the lightweight Lubuntu Software Center. You get the free and open sourced Chromium web browser. You get the LX Terminal, the PC Man FM File Manager. Let's see what else you get with this. In accessories, you get a calculator, an image viewer. You even get a password vault. How cool is that? Uh, Keypack X will uh, manage all those passwords for you. You get the lightweight leaf pad for editing your text, uh, LX Terminal, X Archiver, and, of course, XF Burn, which happens to be my personal favorite for burning disk images. In graphics, you just get Pinta. And this is a nice, easy-to-use graphic editor for you guys. In Internet, you get FileZilla for all of your FTP needs. Yeah, FTP. Yeah, File Transfer Protocol. Jeez, I think I'm going crazy. Somebody didn't give me enough coffee today. Yeah, that's what it is. All right, and you also get Transmission for all of your BitTorrent needs. Uh, great for those of you distro hoppers out there, because uh, I always use BitTorrent to download all of my uh, Linux ISO images and that sort of thing, you know? Cool stuff. All right, and then, of course, in Office, you just get a PDF viewer. You didn't give me an Office Suite! I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Download whatever Office Suite you want. That's the nice thing about this, because this distribution is small enough to fit on a CD, and how many distributions do we see out there now that can fit on a CD? Now you got to have a DVD, so great for those of you who have those old computers that don't have a DVD drive. Woohoo, this is good stuff here. All right, sound and video. You get Audacious. You get Cheese. I never like cheese. Well, I like cheddar cheese. No, I'm <laughs> you get the Pulse Audio Volume Control, VLC, which will pretty much chop up most multimedia files, assuming that you uh, decided to install all the plugins when you installed this and that sort of thing. XF Burn, again. And then, of course, in System Tools, a GW Package Installer and a Task Manager and Preferences, you get a Rander for managing your screen resolutions. You can customize the look and feel, desktop preferences, yada, yada, yada. Make it your own. And uh, so let's go ahead and try and make it our own a little bit. We'll go into Desktop Preferences here and look at some stuff. Okay, well, looks like this is the default thing here, but um, you can pick out some different backgrounds, and it looks like they have a few of them here. And that's a cool little desktop, I suppose. You can uh, So you can set all that up if you want. Show menu provided by Window Manager when desktop is clicked. Huh, let's try and see what that does. Uh, it didn't do anything. That's what, ah, here we go. Oh, that looks kind of cool. All right. 
And of course, this is using OpenBox with it as well. I think LXDE uses OpenBox and that sort of thing. So all in all, I think this looks kind of cool. Um, looks like it wouldn't be too difficult to customize and that sort of thing. So definitely give this one a try. Let me know what you think of it. I'm out of here. Mm -hmm.